What is up everybody? Josh here with JM Junk Movers and we have an estate clean out on a big old property. If y'all need some water and stuff, I got bottles of water in the fridge. We got bottles of water. All right. Okay, okay. Yeah. Well, if, you, if you need them, we got We're them. good. Look at that. This is our customer here. He's packing. packing. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's the, it's the country. You never know what's <laughs> out here. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, so we have this job is a state clean out there. We're cleaning it up so they can have an estate sale uh, It's probably going to be a load and a half to two loads. Uh, let's see where we're at right now Yeah, we still got plenty of space and uh, we got most of the garage attic taken care of and then we have the upstairs of the home as well uh, What do you think Corbin? How many loads do you think is gonna be? Um. <laughs> Bam, 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 bam. Four. I like, I like it. Anyway, so here's a sweet garage. I'm jealous. I like garages where you can store stuff. We're going to be taking some of this stuff, like all the totes, you know, just random garbage items. And then upstairs. Oh yeah, those are big stairs, take two at a time, all day long. And we're cleaning most of this out, not everything, mostly everything. Leaving all the shelves, there's a bunch of boxes here that they want to go through. Uh, he's a veteran, the, the gentleman that passed away is a veteran, so there's a lot of military stuff in here. Uh, but a lot of this, little stuff. Well, we got the trash cans we fill them up and we dump them fill them up and dump them just fast 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 i need to see if we're taking those right there but it's a good one and it's not blazing hot yet we got here uh, pretty early so look at corbin working hard hardly working <laughs> anyways we got here early so we're trying to get on the road as soon as we can and uh Get to the landfill. You get as many loads in as we can today because we don't want to come back out here tomorrow. Hey, Pops. Hey, Pops. Hey, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Can I throw stuff in there? Oh, absolutely. If you want, I'll grab you a few trash cans. You just fill up the trash cans, and Perfect. every time we come by, if we see a full trash can, okay, this we'll is dump full it. And needs to be dumped. Done. I'll get you I'll, a few I'll, more trash cans. Okay, that'd be great because yeah, I'm trying to. Absolutely, yeah, I'll bring I'm that. I'm overwhelmed at this. I'm like, I'm not, I'm <laughs> time to declutter. <laughs> I don't know how you'll do it. Yeah, it's fun. It, 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 the the good side is it doesn't smell like urine and poop. So, it doesn't. I mean, it, it has like a dog smell, but because, it's not it's not bad. Because my sister-in-law who lived here with my father had a big dog. They just let it go to the bathroom in there all the time. Really? Yeah. So yeah, it's it is dog, but it smells like like dog oils more than dog urine though. Well, that's probably just because my dogs are running around. But but yeah, every every time I walk in here, I feel nauseous. Yeah. So I don't know. This isn't bad. Know. This is not bad. Yeah. God bless y'all. When, when we walked in, I was like, oh, thank gosh. Really? So I, it's <laughs> all that. Oh my god, they're gonna be like grossed out. Nope, nope. We no, we see nasty things. This, this is so this is easy. Yeah. <laughs> Well, oh, there's a special place in heaven for you guys. <laughs> oh, y'all are awesome. Oh, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> I like that. All right, and what we have up here is everything in this room. Everything in this room. That piece of stain, so that room's done. Just a little bit of stuff here and everything in that room. So this first load, we're getting all the big stuff. I'm leaving and I'm going to leave the guys here uh, to keep bringing stuff, all the little stuff out. So we're maximizing our time. It's going to be pretty cool. I'll uh, make a video on that a little bit later and explain how I do that. So. All right, everyone, we're done with the first uh, load. It took us uh, about 30 minutes to fill up the first load. <coughs> so it's about 8.30 right now. and. Uh, <laughs> I left the guys over there. We took all the big stuff. So let me explain to you guys how I do this. And yeah, I'm stuck in traffic right now. This is freaking awesome. Love the city. Anyway, so how I how I do larger jobs uh, where it's multiple loads. Oh, I do guys switch lanes. Whoops. Uh, 
larger jobs with uh, with multiple loads, how we do it is the first load we get all the big stuff we possibly can. Once we get all of the big stuff on the first load, the driver takes off. Once the driver takes off, the whoever is left, and we always at least take three to larger jobs for this very reason. Uh, we leave two people there to keep pulling stuff out of the house. We lay out a bunch of tarps. We take all of our trash cans. We take 10 trash cans. Uh, and then we're just, we're filling the trash cans with the smaller stuff that didn't go in the first load, right? We lay out the tarps into a big circle. Uh, let me take this real quick. Thank you for calling GM Junk Movers. This is Josh, how can I help you? Now, I don't know if you guys get these. I get them like five times a day. No one's there. I think it's bot calls. It's so it's like a call and then they want you to call back. I think that's what it is. Anyways, it's so frustrating because we have to answer the phone, right? So when you get four or five of those a day, <laughs> it gets frustrating, man. Yeah, so uh, we take all the big stuff, all the furniture, all the mattresses, large items first uh, in the first load. Second load, one person drives. We got a dump trailer, right? Don't need two people for that. One person drives, the other two are still on site. What they're doing is we have a bunch of tarps laid out and they fill up the trash cans or they, they you know, if it's if it's like a box size, they put it to the side. The the tarps are only for small, small items. So they fill up the trash cans, they dump it on the tarps. They put about 150, 200 pounds worth of items on the tarp. So we could just pick it up, put it in the trailer and pull a tarp out from underneath it. So they're moving, they're always moving, pulling the stuff out of the house the whole time. Uh, now, how we charge on this guy, uh, every load is allocated X amount of man hours. It's the same amount of man hours, whether we have two people or three people. So when it's two people, <laughs> how we do it, it's four man hours for a full load. With three people, so that's two hours on site. That's what it's allocated for that price range. Uh, for three people, it's an hour and 20 minutes. It's four divided by three. It gives you an hour and 20 minutes. <clears throat> so they're gonna be there longer than that. That's gonna give us more man, man time on site, but it's also gonna make us more efficient. So because we're doing two loads, they're allocated eight man hours. Does that make sense? So, but it's man hours. It's not hours on site, it's man hours. So if we got three people, it's eight divided by three. That's how much time is allocated to the job. Now, when it's an estate clean out or a hoarder clean out or anything like that, we give them the load price and we give them a labor price. Uh, and it's just, it's the protection. It's a larger job. Most of the time our load prices cover it because it is a lot of time allocated, but once in a while it saved our bacon. You know, we make an extra four or five hundred dollars uh, because of the labor time. But I'm very upfront with it. I explain it to them. They understand what we're doing. They understand it. They get it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Making sure I don't have something that's floating out right now. Okay, trailer's good. We're good. <laughs> my head's always on a swivel. I'm always watching my trailer. When I got a load. I've seen way too many guys going down the road just losing crap and not even knowing. Just hitting cars behind them. So I'm way thorough about that. Can you train that? Situational awareness. Can you train that or is that innate? I don't know. You guys tell me. Anyway, so how we do this, super efficient. Uh, this job, I think we it might be two loads. I don't think it'll be close to the three loads. Uh, even two loads is gonna be stretching it. It's probably gonna be about a load and a half. Uh, so the allocate, the time allocation is different, right? So if it's half a load, then you get half the time. You get two man hours. That's one hour for two people on site. Uh, and then, you know, divided by three as well. So two divided by three, that's about 45 minutes, something like that. Uh, so that's how we do our time on large jobs. Now for this one, I actually have quite a bit of drive time to the landfill 
and there's there's no other options so I actually have a trip fee on this one as well uh, and it, it's not a lot it's a, it's a buck a mile that's added on to the cost of everything else because the trip time is, is, is big because it's big and it takes up this amount of time this amount of time I could be doing other jobs so I, I need to make money for that does that make sense guys hopefully that makes sense if, if your time is being spent doing something for somebody there needs to be a price so hopefully that helps you guys kind of understand you know how we do pricing we get the jobs often uh, and customers understand like the difficulty of it you know, you'll, you'll see they're very happy with everything uh, all of us work really hard we move fast uh, they're very impressed with how quick we move because when you throw out a, a time like hey this is how much time you got what do they look for they look for lazy slow people we don't do that we work fast and so it justifies our time and they're always more than happy to pay it uh, but it's very rare because we work so fast it's very rare uh, that we have to charge that. So hopefully that helps you guys. I'll, uh, I'll be doing another video uh, once we wrap up the other job. I think I'm about to lose a mattress, so I gotta pull over and uh, make sure that sucker doesn't come out. I'm not gonna be one of those guys. I'm watching it. I'm watching it. <laughs> Anyways, I gotta pull over real quick, take care of that bad boy. I see it like inching out just a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, I gotta get that sucker. <laughs> Don't lose stuff down the freeway. Nothing will make you look sloppier. All right, and we're back. So I'm gonna show you guys what Mario Corbin did. So that was two tarps right there. We just had them laid down, picked up the tarps. And it's all the little stuff. All the little stuff. Uh, and, you know, we load it up pick the whole tarp up and uh, boom, drop it in the trailer. So this is the rest of it. They got everything out of the house. Everything that we're taking is right here now. So now it's just a matter of loading it up. Uh, so the second load is gonna be way faster with all the little stuff. You guys know how, uh, how slow it is loading the little stuff, right? So uh, anyways, if you guys have any questions, uh, if you need anything, you need some junk removal done, uh, all of our information is going to be below. Man, look at that. Big old chunk missing out of my tire. It's time to get some new tires. That's a, that's a grand. <laughs> Anyways, if you guys need anything, all of our information is below. Feel free to reach out. I uh, appreciate you watching the videos. Hopefully I, I taught you a few neat little tricks that uh, speeds you up a little bit. So thanks, guys. Have a good one.